today we're gonna go over 14 different rally and garrison pre-release reports for justinian the brand new legendary cavalry commander coming to rise of kingdoms we're gonna go over the best rally combinations the best counters to justinian and whether or not he is ultimately going to be the new rally meta what's going on guys cheers now before we jump in i have great news for those of you who enjoyed my waifu tier list because omni arc has been generously sponsored by omni heroes and oh my god not only do we have a name in common but we also have an appreciation for you know character design and strategy rpgs in omni heroes the valkyries have been dragged into the darkness by the demons and you can be the omni guardian to save them there's over a hundred amazing heroes so building your team has infinite possibilities strategize between three different synergies to really pop off and deal big damage honestly my favorite hero is Nyx she can attack the enemy back row directly which really helps her dominate on the battlefield and there's a ton of lore and backstory to these heroes as well which is super captivating for example Nyx is the queen of nightmares which is probably why I'm so down bad for her oh my god just look at her also who knew that slaying demons could be so relaxing the graphical style and music are perfect for just chilling in bed when you're trying to avoid an existential crisis and if your team strategy is good enough you can turn on auto battle so the valkyries will do all the work for you so you don't have to grind non-stop and not only will you be fighting demons in pve modes but there's a pvp arena as well for all you giga chads who want to show off your unbeatable team comps do you think you have what it takes to rise to the top of the global leaderboards pre-register today for 777 free summons omni heroes is also giving away 99 100 amazon gift cards and 10 iphone 14 pros for free to lucky pre-registered players android users can pre-register register on the Google Play Store and iOS users can do so on the official website either way players on all platforms are eligible for the event rewards guys it's literally free what are you waiting for click the link down below to give Omni Heroes a try okay so like we usually do with these pre-release test results we're going to be jumping into the rock battle simulator and I'm going to be sharing with you guys the parameters with which we used to test Justinian here for rallies now I've been getting a lot of questions about the rock battle simulator about its accuracy about does it do this or does it do that I'm planning on interviewing the developer for the rock battle simulator his name is Speco he's a great guy and I want to be able to ask him your questions so please if you have questions about the rock battle simulator and how it works drop them in the comments section below and I'm going to grab the most important and the most asked questions so that way you guys have a better idea as to whether or not this simulator is actually accurate I've been using it for months I think it's pretty accurate but you guys can decide for yourself okay now let's go over these parameters and the first thing that we have to touch on is that Justinian is not in the game yet okay and because of that there's actually one skill that he has that the developer for the simulator has not coded in well it's not that he hasn't coded it in it's just that based on the language of his expertise the developer of the simulator suspects that this might not actually proc at all unless the target is actually surrounded rather than said to be surrounded as is the case with the active skill on Justinian now that means that the test results in this video show Justinian performing worse than he will actually perform in rise of kingdoms when he arrives however I think this is still really useful information and here's why I would rather see what a sort of low ball estimate of what Justinian can do is than a hyper inflated oh my god he's so OP and then he comes into the game and he's actually not that great right so we're gonna look at battle reports with justinian performing a little bit worse than he probably will in game so keep that in mind as we're looking at these reports tell yourself hey he's actually going to be dealing extra bonus damage when he's in rise of kingdoms all right now let's go over the parameters for the testing in this video okay as you can see here both sides have 37 percent attack that is because i'm assuming that both sides will have maxed crystal technology and i think that that is you know unlike the open field tests i think that that is a reasonable assumption because typically you want your rally and garrison leaders to be the whales in your kingdom i also assumed that both sides had a 10 percent health rune because unlike open field fighting you probably will always go out of your way to get the best rune that you can so of course this will vary but i assume that both sides had it i assumed that for a city skin the justinian rally was going to use a five percent city skin for skill damage whereas the defenders i assumed would use a five percent health skin whether that's the case or not i'm not sure but that's what i did here 
for the rallies i picked arabia and for the others i picked either ottoman for the skill damage especially with the archers and for infantry i believe i picked france now both sides have 2 million troop capacity i understand that with crystal tech and with passes and everything like that you could have more but i just wanted to make these tests as quick as possible you'll see here that both sides have a 10 percent defense rune both sides have maxed iconics for everything they're both vip 18 with 50 percent all damage because there's 40 percent by being in the lost kingdom and then 10 percent from maxing crystal tech and then finally i assume that both sides had the best in slot gear all with a special talent and like i said before all with iconic crystals now you'll be able to see the talent builds for the garrisons on the screenshots i think i mainly went with this talent build if i remember correctly for all of the rally reports so keep that in mind now let me tell you guys really quick how the rock battle simulator actually simulates rally scenarios okay because you might be confused as to how this could be the case you can see here at the top that you can select a role and this is for open field fighting this means you've got the rally over here this means the garrison is on the right okay so garrison emblem garrison side here you can see you can change it from the open field fighting to the reinforced game mode okay so essentially how this simulator is programmed is that whenever your side or whenever either side gets to 86 percent of troops remaining it will be automatically reinforced back up to 98 percent so this sort of simulates a constant influx of players reinforcing that structure now a couple of things one it never goes up to 100 percent because typically you're never gonna have a perfect 100 percent filled rally or pass at all times because you would have to send perfect numbers of troops to make that happen which is not realistic so that's why it goes up to 98 percent uh and second obviously you know constantly reinforcing at 86 percent isn't going to happen in real life you know some people will be too slow sometimes it will be perfect uh so you know there's a little bit of variation there but i think in all in all this is a very good way to actually test reinforcements for a situation like this now of course this isn't testing swarms this isn't testing bonus aoe damage this isn't testing all that obviously so you know i don't think i need to explain that that's apparent by what this is doing but that's how this works now the final thing that we're going to mention before we jump into the test results is that every single test here was justinian with nevsky now you might be asking yourself i'm york why didn't you test it with this commander or that commander well if you look at justinian's kit i really cannot imagine a better pairing than nevsky now of course when he's in the game people are going to test him with a bunch of other commanders but it seems to me like this is just so obviously the best pairing for him that i wanted to you know use my time wisely and really test the best possible pair and you might be asking yourself omniarch what about hua he seems to be really strong he has a really high single target damage factor he has the skill tree you're you're missing out on him he's so good i think i'm about to break some hearts here okay when you realize this now of course hua is not in the game yet so we can't actually test this and of course players will when he does arrive in the game but his expertise and therefore his fourth skill literally does not do anything in rallies literally doesn't it says it doesn't it says that it's when attacking an enemy troop and when you're playing rise of kingdoms and you are rallying something you are not attacking an enemy troop you are attacking an enemy stronghold or fortress flag pass whatever those are all strongholds okay so the expertise for Hua literally does not do anything in a rally based on how they have specifically worded it in the skill now of course this could be poorly translated in which case we would I, I mean the only way to know is to actually test them in the game right but based on what we have officially from the developers they specifically say that it only works when attacking troops and in a rally you're attacking strongholds so therefore without 35 percent defense and 25 percent extra skill damage I feel like he's just not in the in the running to be a rally commander on it. like he's he's operating without an expertise and without a fourth skill like are his other three skills really good enough to make him worth it I I just I don't think so to be honest with you uh yes his damage factor is high but you know after the first 15 seconds he loses the best part of this skill too and it turns into 10 percent normal attack, normal attack damage so I think Hua is in a very good very solid open field commander I don't see a world where he's used for rallies unless this uh wording is translated wrong okay with that being said hopefully you can understand why i picked nevsky obviously there's insane synergy with the active skill on justinian and the active skill on nevsky 
we're going to talk more about the third skill on Nevsky and the expertise on William. And we're also going to talk about Dito later in the video and talk about why those things may or may not be affected by Justinian's active skill and his little surrounding manipulation. But with all of that out of the way, let's just jump right into the test results. And now you might be saying, Omniarch, where's the battle report? Well, there's two things that we're going to go over here in this video. The first is, of course, the battle report. And the second is a couple of statistics that the developer of the of the rock battle simulator provides us as well as the battle report so here we could see the amount of reinforcements used by both sides for this rally we can also see the amount healed the amount shielded and the total damage output from both sides we can also see the trade ratio here so in our first test result, we have Justinian Nevsky going up against Flavius Heraclius. We can see here that, of course, the shielding factor is really good on Heraclius and his damage output was slightly higher. Really interesting stuff there. OK, that means they had a slightly better trade. So let's go ahead and take a look at the battle report. Now, one thing worth noting is that these battle reports that are generated by the simulator don't show dead troops because the amount of dead troops that you get as a defender changes it literally changes depending on if you're attacking a flag in your home kingdom if you're attacking a crusader crusader flag in kvk if you're attacking like the late game passes right so it like it the number of deads depends on like what you're hitting right with the rally that doesn't change so what you can assume here is that the rally took 1.5 million deads okay because the rally always loses 100 percent and then the deads for the other side depend on what you're hitting so you're probably taking you're probably taking 75 percent of this as deads okay so if you take that into account i would say that flavius heraclius actually wins this you could see the difference in power loss on both sides as well so here we see the first test result justinian is losing let's go ahead and take a look at a second test result here you could see that this was slightly more skewed in favor of the flavius garrison okay now this is not really that surprising because this is an infantry garrison and infantry are supposed to be countering cavalry and that's kind of what you would expect from this uh from this outcome but remember justinian's expertise the bonus damage from the expertise is not triggering at all in this battle okay so with that factoring in it may bump these up to be trading relatively evenly it's hard to say so we won't know until we can test that in game but this is the other battle report you can see 14.4 million power loss on the defenders 15.7 million power loss on the attackers we have 1.5 million deads here versus the assuming this is a kvk flag for example this would be like about a million dead okay so i mean it's a pretty it's a pretty big difference here to be honest with you guys and just to go back a second you can see here that the damage output is still higher for the garrison but once again if we factor in the damage factor on the expertise on justinian that may bump these up a little bit closer and that's why you see the sev wound trade is pretty even but you have to factor in the dead ratio right like that literally is what matters the most here so yes the deads are way higher on the rally side here let's move on to Zenobia Flavius I was just curious to see how this would work and we see that the Justinian Nevsky trades slightly positive over here even with him with Justinian being nerfed in the simulator we see a uh, higher damage output from the rally as well if we take a look at the report we can see that there were more sev wounds on the garrison side now this is shocking because there's healing here as well but yes higher damage output here now of course there you know because once again uh some troops do not die for the garrison whereas all troops die for the rally you know you could argue that this is possibly still trading better for the infantry power loss is very very similar here slightly more power loss on the garrison side but they would have fewer deads let's go ahead and take a look at the second uh Zenobia Flavius report here and you can see Justinian actually performed slightly better on this one uh higher damage output for sure and once again we see the same sort of thing slightly more severely wounded units on this side higher power loss for the Zenobia but at the end of the day there's going to be more deads for the rally let's move on to Flavius Scipio and this is going to be the final infantry garrison that we test here in this video and here you can see that Justinian actually traded slightly positively here um the damage output was a bit higher from the rally we could take a look here that the sev wounds on the garrison side were slightly higher and of course the power loss was slightly higher as a result of that once again I think that based on the number of deads you're going to get here um this is going to be considered a win for the garrison because they will simply have fewer deads 
you can decide if that is an accurate assumption or not based on what you think is most valuable I think most players assume deads are worse than sub wounds because they literally are let's move on to the second of the Fabius CPO reports and here you can see Justinian did even better about 400k higher total damage outputs higher power loss on the garrison side uh more sev wounds but it's not so much higher that uh you know you would consider this a win for the rally because again more deads on the rally side all right let's move on to some archer pairs so here we have Dito with Heraclius we can see here that there's a pretty big win over here for the Justinian Nevsky okay if we take a look at total damage output it ain't even close we got a uh, two million three million more damage output from the rally side here you can see 16.5 million power loss for the archers and 13.8 million power loss for the rally uh once again we've got 300k more severely wounded units over here if this were a crusader flag it would be about 1.23 million deads uh if it were you know a pass where they take 100 deads then of course we would see a big win here for the justinian nevsky and once again i want to remind you that this is a nerfed version of justinian so he will perform even better than this in the actual game uh, which is pretty shocking let's take a look at the second Dito Heraclius report and you can see here that it was literally it was slightly better it was slightly better for the second time around higher damage output uh fewer sev wounds as calculated by the battle and way more power loss about 2.7 million power loss on the garrison side so once again Justinian taking the W let's move on to Dito Henry just because I was curious about this I feel like Dito Henry is a is a pretty solid garrison uh and you can see here that Justinian Nevsky wins again with a higher damage output in total very slightly uh if we look here the Dito Heraclius was was not very good the Dito Henry performed much better I guess that shouldn't be that surprising although typically shields are pretty good I guess the damage output from Henry is just too OP boys let's take a look at the battle report we see 15.7 million power loss on the rally 16.1 million power loss on the garrison side so clearly we see this is a much better garrison than with Heraclius but we still see technically a win on the rally side from the nerfed version of Justinian however again depending on what you're rallying you may still have taken more deads to do this moving on to the second Dito Henry report we could see that it actually performed slightly worse for the rally but the rally still does trade slightly better in terms of actual damage output you could see higher damage output for the rally side and of course the amount of seven wounds is very very close here which means that depending on what you're rallying you're probably going to take more deads for the rally once again let's move on to cavalry garrisons here we have a Jan Ziska Jadwiga and of course Justinian with Nevsky is doing more damage output and therefore trading slightly better with fewer sev wounds and fewer power loss as well I think you guys get the trend here uh if we move on to the second Jan Ziska with Jadwiga it is a 1.04 so again once again trading slightly better for the rally and you can see here that they have fewer sev wounds fewer power loss finally this is the last combo of garrison we tested and we see a very slight win for Justinian going up against Jan Ziska Heraclius and of course the sev wounds were a bit higher on the garrison side a million power loss higher in fact and then the second time that we tested it very close in terms of the trades here okay if you guys are wondering why the damage output is so much higher here even though the trades were almost the same it's because of the shielding factor of course right if we take a look here we have about 100k more sev wounds on the uh garrison side which means a little over a million extra power loss for them which is crazy so what can we conclude from this data well first of all we have to wait until justinian is actually in the game to know exactly how this expertise and his fourth skill is going to work because technically this could either do nothing or 100 damage factor or 300 damage factor depending on when it procs and how the game calculates it right because this does not say that the enemy has to be surrounded it just says the number of your troops surrounding the target which I guess implies that the target is being surrounded in order for this to deal damage right but yeah my, my suspicion is that even if the target is not technically surrounded or meeting the conditions for being surrounded aka being attacked by two or more players even if they're only being hit by just the rally I think it will still probably deal 100 damage factor okay that's what I think even though they're not surrounded I think they that's probably what they meant by this that's my assumption additionally of course if that expertise rocks during the buff window of the active skill then I think it's pretty fair to say that it will deal 300 damage factor okay so we don't know how that's going to work is it going to proc at all like is the game going to look and be like oh well they're literally not surrounded so it's not going to deal any damage 
uh, it literally says here that it doesn't actually surround the target so if the target actually being surrounded is a prerequisite for this dealing damage well then it doesn't matter what the active skill says on justinian are they surrounded no zero damage we have to wait and see there's no way to know but i would be willing to bet that justinian will perform much better in the actual game than he did here and you could see here that the trades were relatively even against the best garrisons in the game so if he performs even better than that when he comes into rise of kingdoms that will be nice it just depends on how much better will he be and how many deads are both sides taking depending on what the defenders are actually defending the next thing that I want to talk about here is clearing up some confusion around Nevsky and Dito and William okay because I've seen a lot of people arguing about this and I want to just throw my two cents in the ring here and tell you guys what I think is going to happen okay some people have been looking at the third skill on Dito and saying oh well she's probably going to counter the buff that we see on Justinian's active skill that essentially buffs the effect of Nevsky if the target is being surrounded and people are looking at this and saying okay well she has a 20 percent chance of preventing the target troop from benefiting from effects triggered by being surrounded now the reason that this is not going to counter what is happening with Justinian is because this effect triggers on buffs that occur when the rally is surrounded so that means Tarek okay if you look at Tarek's first skill if he if Tarek is being surrounded if this commander troop is being surrounded then you deal more damage okay well Dito has her skill here that says if you would do something based on how many troops are swarming you now you don't okay so again I hope you can see the distinction here with Justinian he benefits from the garrison being surrounded which is the opposite of what Dito is removing and therefore this shouldn't in theory we have to test them in the game but based on how it's literally worded it literally has no effect next let's talk about Nevsky and I think it's pretty clear that this active skill is going to be influenced by Justinian's active skill buff what we have to look at is will the third skill come into play it says here troops led by this commander deal 10 percent increased damage to and take five percent reduced damage from surrounded targets will this apply during the five second window after Justinian's active skill I don't think so why do I not think so this skill literally says the target will not actually be surrounded okay so the surround condition is not being met for this part of the skill so this is different I hope you can understand why this is different than it working on the active skill this says that no matter what you are inflicting a defense debuff regardless of the condition right no matter what you're inflicting a defense debuff it's just the amount of that debuff is based on the number of targets surrounding so the target being in the surrounded condition is not a prerequisite for this buff to be increased and therefore the active skill on Justinian will bump up the amount of defense debuff applied by Nevsky whereas it will not in my opinion based on how it's worded actually cause this part of the skill on his third skill to be triggered and likewise we look at William for example he's got the same thing here if you look at his expertise it says uh, normal attacks have a 10 percent chance to deal a thousand damage factor if the target is surrounded it will take extra damage which is 100 times five so up to 1500 once again just like the third skill on Nevsky this says that the target has to actually be surrounded in order for this to occur and Justinian's skill specifically says that the target will not be surrounded does that make sense okay hopefully we are all on the same page there I know that it's very it's worded very weird so that is that now the final thing that I want to mention about Justinian is that while these 1v1 reports were included with a sort of nerfed version of Justinian we have to remember that if you are actually swarming something Justinian will probably be a god okay um because then you could actually 5x swarm something which will be insane and you will be able to get an extra 500 damage factor every single time that this procs and it has a 30 percent chance of doing so uh again I think that this is this is going to be a really good commander to swarm things or double rally okay if you're double rallying a flag or a fort or whatever I think then you're really going to start to pop off some bonus damage from this which is going to be absolutely nuts so all in all I think Justinian will have a major part in the rally meta I think he will be excellent for double or triple rallying things or for rallying and swarming things down I think he will be great there I think as a 1v1 he will probably perform and trade decently well with all of the 
uh existing garrisons and possibly even trading positive on many of them depending on the dead trades on both sides I think that he will always be paired with Nevsky that is my assumption based on how skills are worded in the game and with that being said that's pretty much it guys if you enjoyed this video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other Rise of Kingdoms players might see it comment down below your thoughts on Justinian do you think that he is going to be way better than we saw here in the test results or do you think that he's just going to be an average rally commander I would love to hear from you guys down there and while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time I upload a Rise of Kingdoms video and don't forget to support today's sponsor Omni Heroes click the link in the description below because sponsors like Omni Heroes help me do what I do here on YouTube with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace